Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Bearded Mike, and we're back to the Atari ST. I love it, and I know you love it. So, I've uh, been playing some, I got some more four games. Actually, it was supposed to be five, but for whatever reason, Frogger, there was a remake of Frogger HD, and for whatever reason, as soon as I load up the game, it the frog guy just goes to the left. And I can't move them anymore. I've tried multiple versions, I've tried disc versions, and it will not go. I can't move the little guy. So, oh well. Um, I was reading some of the history, and apparently some of the uh, games for this particular system, if it was certain software, I think it was the model before this, it would get funky with certain applications like WordStar or whatever. So maybe it's something to do with that. No idea. But you're not interested in that. You're interested in more games for your Atari ST, so stay tuned. So we're back. I have to remember to move my keyboard in front of me instead of like over here, which is nice and purring. Is there a fan in here? I feel there's a fan in here. Yeah, there is. There is. I feel the air. <laughs> I feel the air in the back. And the switch, whatever. So, I'm uh, salivating. I can't wait for these games. So, of course, if you're not new to my channel, you know where I put them. I put them here. And then here. And then I put it under new games. And here is a list of games. Unfortunately, I'm not going to use Pac. You know, I have Pac-Man. I'm going to use you. I think I have him. Where did I put you? All right. Did I? Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> uh, oh, there you are. All right, I have him. Pac-Man was weird because I couldn't... Um, I couldn't load them first, so I had to make another disc. Haven't done that in a while, but let's start from the beginning and play some games. Okay, this is the racing game, and um, I was not going to load this, but the guy who created the game reached out to me, says, "Hey, I like your channel. I just discovered it, and I would like to play this other game." He's the guy who did the laser, the laser game, the laser chest, or whatever game it is. And, uh, yeah, it was really cool. And, yeah, it's a nice little son. Choose my language. Well, let's... I don't speak of the Dutch. Hmm. Uh, did I skip it? The highest frame rate on the Atari ST? No. Needs more brain power than laser... That was it, laser ball. No. <laughs> it's a racing game, so NR show ride. I have no idea what that means. It probably means something in like Spanish or Dutch or something. Probably somebody will let me know in the comments. Oh, it saved my uh it saved my guy. Oh, okay. That's nice. So go to next. And here, I'm going to show you some of the cars. Now, I didn't install, like, there's an actual add-on pack that you can get. But, some of them are locked out. With hearts, apparently. Oh, why is, oh, I can take these. All right, let me, uh, you ha oh, I need... I need hearts. Oh, oh, I need hearts to unlock it. Oh, all right. That's fine. Oh, is that so cute? Uh, choose a ride. Love you, flowers. Uh, I need 12 hearts for that. I'm going to say lovely flowers, maybe. Give me a quick ride. I'm going to go a quick ride. Huh. Have a safe trip. Well, thank you. Oh. Oh, whoa. Hello. Oh, this is nice. Wow. <laughs> whoa. 
Go away, I need hearts. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Well, this is a lot of fun. Especially for somebody who has a passion for this. Uh, uh, I'm away. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> your cars are made of paper. Get them away. And explosions. And yes. It's very colorful. Okay, I got 100 points for that. Driving like a maniac for hearts. Really well done, though. Considering like it's one, maybe it's a one-man show. It must take a lot of work to uh, do these kind of free games and then release it free. That's dedication. Hats off to you. Oh, okay, there we go. How did I do? Welcome home. Your crashes of 64 cars. Okay, well, that's cute. <laughs> I have a heart. I want more. All right, let's try... Ah, oh, well, that's super cute. Can I pick another car? Sink the Titanic? I ha I hate cheap cars. Okay. Oh, I, I bet. Oh. So if I win, I get 20. If I lose, I'll lose five. Oh, that's how it runs. Ah. Whoa, 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 dude. I, I'm sort of wanna oh sink the Titanic oh I saw the, I saw the Titanic there that's adorable <laughs> how many Titanics is there am I racing the Titanic is it minus 500 no I'm getting points I guess I'm smashing into stuff to get points. Oh, maybe it depends on the how how expensive the car is, maybe. Five hundred, five hundred. One hundred. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm almost a... It's like my instincts tell me to avoid the cars instead of smashing into them. It's kind of like an Atari ST version of uh, Carmageddon. <laughs> Out of my way! I'm smashing into you guys! Oh, is that it? Alright, so how did I do? Five white Austin Martins, but no blue. Oh, you failed. You lose. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right. 
So that was fun. that was actually that was a lot of fun. Very colorful, like the graphics there. Um, one man, sh I don't know if it's a one man show, but I know he reached out to me to say, "Why don't you play this game?" And I did, and it's really a lot of fun. Racing is not is not my forte. I'm really like in RPGs, but I can just imagine the humongous effort it would be to make a new RPG. But this is a lot of fun. Keep at it. I'm really interested in what else you make on the horizon. I know there's an expansion pack too. So I'm going to turn you off, turn it back on. Am I loading? Am I the blitter chip? I'll turn it on. The blitter chip? Blitter chip? Let's go to games. And also, I have, I have. This is Killing Spree. I had to look this up on YouTube and how to run it. And there's no instructions. So, it's a space game with lots of cool. I think this was a demo way back in the day. And they just finished it in like 2014. Like 90 something was like a demo that they created. And I guess people were really excited about that. It's called Killing Spree. Killing Spree. And then this little intro, which is really trippy. But we'll skip that. Do 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 do. Calculating things for you with continue on your calculations. Mm -hmm. Am I? La 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 I know this comes up a lot quicker. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Maybe it was the glitter chip. <laughs> oh well so it doesn't want to load a lot of the few times doesn't want to load so that's unfortunate too bad it looked really nice I guess the Atari that I have is not 100% backwards compatible. I had this running. It's, it's That's what is aggravating. I had this running. I couldn't find the controls. I found the controls. Like, great. All right. So let's try the next game. This one. Okay. Well then. Uh, options. If I turn this guy on. Let's try that. Man, it's grumpy today. Okay. I know I had a running. All right. It's almost like it's temperamental. Do, 
a couple more tries, and then I'm going to switch over to the emulator. Like, I don't know what else to do. I, I don't want to show you, like, one game, and that's it. Like, that's not a video saying, oh, I got new games for you. No, I got one game for you. Okay. Options. Let's turn on the blitter. That is so weird. Oh, there it goes. Weird. There we go. Don't let them control you. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ah, just a keyboard. Yep, yeah, this is a keyboard. This, this is so weird. You try not to get hurt. Ah! Whoa, that was close. Ah! What's wrong with his face? What the heck? Uh, where did the alien guy go? Well, there's the alien guy. And the game over. <laughs> okay. Let me try this again. Oh, I guess it's random. Alright, 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 alright. So now, I have this guy. Pop you in. Reboot. And then this time, I'm going to only have... Now, I wasn't originally going to put this on, but I guess it's like a spice game. I have other spice videos, and I kept them in the background. I like as a just in case but I think he did a lot of work on it and I think it deserves more because he did the sprite hacks the game it's not like he just ran it off the hard drive so it's kind of like in the gray area ah no actually no you know what I haven't tried that I haven't tried running it like here let me try that first instead of Pac-Man fever, Pac-Man fever, driving me crazy, driving me crazy, got a Pac-Man fever. Is it going to run, going to run, driving me crazy? I'm disappointed with Killer Spree, because that was a really cool game. Hard, kind of like 3D, kind of like a Zaxxon, but if it was like ground level going through. There's other videos on that game. I think uh, Atari Crypt has a video on there. So if you're dying, oh, start game, high scores. All right, so 2005. Ooh, uh, easy, medium. Got a Pac-Man fever, Pac-Man fever. It's a pretty game. Feels like I'm playing in a Lego set. I keep forgetting I can jump over the ghosts. Oh, you want some of that? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Yeah, I'm not going to make it, are Ugh. Got a Pac-Man fever, Pac-Man fever, driving me crazy. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. See, I forget to jump. I keep forgetting to jump.
Yeah, he's out for blood. I think some of them, like, have weird AI that they don't chase you at all. Whoa! No. No, 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 no. Now, they're supposed to have improved sound, and they sort of took some of the levels from other games and kind of poured them in here, so... I guess this is a new-ish game, where there's like an improvement, rather than an actually brand new game from scratch. I wish I got the Frogger game to work. That was annoying. Oh yeah, um, forgot to mention, I'm up to over a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys very, very much for joining me in these videos that I like to make. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk. I don't know what else to say. I was thinking of doing like, um, I don't know, like a stream of one of my old games. I haven't figured out which game. So maybe I'll pick up like kind of getting interested back into old Windows 98 games or Windows 95 games. But my, oh, there we go. Let's go to the next world. Okay. Let's go to Pac-Man's, let's go to Pac-Man's Park. Well, that's cute. <laughs> Little jumpy guy. That's cute. <laughs> Ooh, something new. So yeah, a thousand subscribers. At first, you know what? To be 100% honest with you folks, I thought this channel would have gone two ways. One would have been like popular really, really quickly, or not at all. So I went a third route. Was wasn't I wasn't expecting, but I should have. Is I gain a a following that people discover my my channel um, and they like the stuff and they stay and they watch my videos like there's also a way of getting a viral video and me and my brother we did that at first with our dying light video and it was really popular because nobody else had the game and we were one of the first to have a review so that's why it was like 7,000 views at first and that was like early on in the channel's history and I haven't, I've yet to actually do that again. I'm getting close, but I'm almost like, like 7,000, I think one of my videos are now. Over around seven, over 7,000. So it's, what is the, what is a channel success in, in my experience would be the people that watch the video, like what I, what, I, what me and TV Steve put out and they watch it as a fan not as a oh my god i need to find this review of this game i've never heard of or have heard of i've been waiting for and this one guy decides to do it he's never going to watch another video of ours again um and the reason why we got and just to tell you the reason why we got that particular game so early is a question of like oh, and i'm not paying attention sort of rambling on a little bit is because um, my brother in Toronto got a game store that got the games early and they were released them early before the big companies like GameStop and EV Games which is the same thing and Target and Walmart and all the other people will get it because you get the ex uh, exclusives right you get EV Games has exclusives and Walmart would have their exclusives, whatever, but these small mom and pop shops, video game stores would not get exclusive. So what happens? They release their games early, like before the actual official release date. So that got bunged because um, my brother at the time would had a um, the Xbox One, which he still has. Uh, they wouldn't allow a game footage or any kind of footage from that game to be uploaded until the release date, which sort of threw a monkey wrench in the whole um, video capture. Now, 
My brother and I only have a budget, so we don't have capture record software. Because that would have fixed it. If we had, if he had the capture record software that I have, the um, I have a, a USB recorder, and it works on the Xbox One fine. But the problem is that he, we have no money. But I'm not going to give him my equipment. He has his own equipment, and we do stuff that's totally different. And that's why you like the show. A little bit of different anything. So that was thrown in a monkey wrench because it's hard to justify. Especially with a brand new channel, if it's going to succeed or not. Anyway, that's what it was. And now we're at this channel over a thousand. That's what I'm going to. Thank you very much for the a thousand views. I'm going to try to do something. Hopefully soon, something a little different, which I always try to. But anyway, these are more games for your Atari ST. So if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. And any feedback would be appreciative. Until the next video, this is Bearded Mike, signing off.